Hi, and welcome to the VC UHV Library website. Despite what you might think, libraries aren't just books anymore. It's essential that you become familiar with this website in order to be a successful student. This video will highlight five important things you can do through the library website. First, and arguably most important, is how to contact a librarian. There are five ways to contact us, and it's located in the middle of our library homepage. You can chat using our real-time chat service, visit us in person, email us, call us or text us. Remember that the library is here to help you. Second are our library guides. Our library guides are online collections of resources that can help you get started on your research. These are especially helpful if you're trying to get started on an assignment when the library is closed. You can get to our main subject guides by clicking on the search by subject tab and then selecting the subject you're interested in. For this example, we'll click on business. You can see that once we're inside the guide, it has resources that can help you find different types of business information, including articles, books, websites, company information, and more. And you'll find that all the subject guides are organized similarly. Next is how to do a search in OneSearch. OneSearch is a search platform that searches both the library catalog and almost all of our databases at once. Our library catalog holds things like books, ebooks, audiobooks, and streaming videos. Our library database holds things like scholarly articles and other specialized material. Searching in OneSearch can save you time because you don't have to go to into each database individually to do a search. Let's do an example search. Say I want to know more about artificial intelligence. I can go ahead and just type in artificial intelligence and do a search. The first thing you might see in your results list is a research starter. This is like a Wikipedia page, except you can be reassured that it's trustworthy because it was published in an encyclopedia. The nice thing about OneSearch is you can choose to either limit your options to the library catalog or to peer-reviewed scholarly journals. You can do that by going to the left side of the page under the limit to box. Let's first look at the library catalog. So we can check the limit to library catalog box. And as we scroll through, you can look at the icons to see what types of resources we got. So we have a few eBooks, a video recording, and a print book. If you'd like to get electronic access to our resources, all you have to do is click on online access. If you'd like to get a print book, make sure you note where it's located, the call number, and the status of the book. Now let's look to see what peer reviewed articles we have on artificial intelligence. So what we can do is we can uncheck limit to VCUHV library catalog and then check limit to peer reviewed scholarly journals. And now you can see that the icons have changed to be just academic journals. If you're interested in an article, you can get to the full text by either clicking on PDF full text or it might say HTML full text, or you can go ahead and click on the title. From here, you can read the abstract and the article, and on the right side of the page is a toolbar that can help you save, print, and cite the article. Ask a librarian if you need help searching or if you can't find the full text of an article that you're looking for. The fourth most important thing on the library website is our databases A to Z list. This allows you to pick what database you want to search in. Remember that almost all of these databases are included in a OneSearch search, but if you want your search to be more specific, you can pick which databases you want to search in. Some databases cover a variety of subjects, and some are very specific. If you want to see databases that are subject specific, you can filter to a specific subject by clicking on the All Subjects drop-down menu, and then selecting which subject you'd like. So for this example, once again, we'll choose business. You can see we found 42 databases for business, and we even have these best bets, which were selected by your librarians to show you which databases will be the best for finding business information. And last is how to find citation help. Your professors will ask you to cite any evidence you provide in an assignment with one of the popular citation styles, MLA, APA, or Chicago. We have a citation guide that has all the information you need to help you cite your sources. And you can get to it by just clicking on citation help. Our Cite Your Sources guide has basic citation information and tabs for each of the popular citation styles. For example, if we needed to cite an MLA, you'll find more information about MLA, examples of citations, and even other resources that can help you cite your papers. And those are just a few things that you can do through the library website. If you want to explore more or have questions, please don't be afraid to ask a librarian for help. Remember that the librarians are here to help you be a successful student.